Hello again, welcome to lesson 5. In this lesson we're going to be looking at a different artistic movement which is called Abstract Expressionism. I'm going to give you some ideas and techniques that are going to enable you to create your own piece of abstract expressionist artwork which is inspired by these paintings that I recently created myself. In order for you to produce some abstract expressions work, what we're going to use is responses to some questions and we're going to build them up so you have layers of patterns and shapes and surfaces that you can then work into to create an expressive and personal piece. The first question that we're going to respond to is an easy one that everyone should be able to answer. The question is, what is your name? So you're going to write your name in lots of different ways creating overlapping shapes and layers until you have a completely abstract surface you can keep adding to in any way you like. So I'm just going to start in the middle, capital letters, join them up, start again here, do it in different sizes, from different angles, different styles of writing. And it's becoming less and less easy to see or read what it says, which is exactly what we want. So I've been doing that for a couple of minutes and you can see the surface is starting to get more and more complicated, uh, more and more abstract and we've got layers and layers of different shapes. Then you'll notice as well I'm just using a biro, nice and simple, no specialist equipment and also this is just a simple exercise to loosen you up for the larger abstract expressionist piece. So I'm going to stop there now and I'm going to start to fill in different sections, add lines, might want to grab something else, so here I've got pencil, and all we're doing here is just further abstracting the letters and shapes. Which is exactly what I've done or what I did. Now I created this piece in exactly the same way using a blue biro and a pencil. And it's kind of hard to see, but this is this just says Harry, 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 and I filled in the shapes. And then I have another example where I just thought of all the names I could think of, of people I know, people I've met used a, I think it was a, like an Indian ink pen, wrote all the names really, really close together, closed up the gaps and then just filled in the holes in yellow. So the first widely recognised abstract artist was called Wassily Kandinsky. Probably one of my favourite um, abstract expressionists would be a lady called Lee Krasner. She much the same as Vasily Kandinsky and in fact lots of abstract expressionists. Her earlier work is much more traditional and representational but as her career developed she began to produce more expressive conceptual abstract expressionist work. I'm also going to show you some unusual alternatives to your normal art materials that you can use throughout the process. For this lesson, it's going to be a good idea to work on a larger scale. Now, just take two or four or six or eight pieces together to make yourself a new canvas. Another way you can do that is use cardboard boxes, maybe get an adult to help you cut them up and then just rejoin them together. Again, using masking tape 
or go for tape or something strong like that. And if you remember I said we were going to use some alternatives to um, what you might normally use for fine artwork. So you're going to see the questions come up on the screen and I'm going to answer them on the cameras. So first question, where do you live? So the next question is where are you going? To the supermarket, to my grandparents house on holiday, back to school. The possibilities are endless and that's the idea. You can choose any answer you like. It's not really important what you're writing, it's more how you write it. So for this I'm going to use a candle. The reason we're using the candle is to create something called wax resist. Now you might not actually see the marks that the candle makes, but as you start to build up the layers, what the wax in the candle does is create a kind of barrier which certain other materials like paint, crayons and other pens will not actually work on top of. And you can also use an oil pastel to create the same technique, which I'll just say it again, wax resist. I'm gonna write this answer a few times. I might actually do this answer with a biro as well. Now, if you do choose to uh, use this technique, so it's an empty washing up liquid bottle, a little squirt of paint, I've used acrylic, could be household paint, poster paint, and then some water, so you have a kind of liquidy consist consistency. If you are doing this, make sure you do it outside or put some newspaper down. So the next question, what are you interested in? I'm gonna go with the various, very obvious answer of I'm then going to take the household brush and work into this like so. Now something a lot of abstract expressionists did, particularly um, Gerhard Richter, who likes to build up layers of paint and then work back into them. So this is what we're going to do here. Obviously the paint needs to be wet, um, so you can't do this with felt tips, but if you have paint or ink, that's fine. So this is where the old toothbrush is going to come in, um, or the bamboo skewer. For this, I'm going to use the paintbrush, the toothbrush, sorry, as this is still wet. And the question is, what have you eaten today? And I've had some toast and a banana. So by using the toothbrush, where the bristles are all a bit old, it, we've got a completely different outcome than using the paintbrush, or the shoe polish, or the biro. So we've got toast there. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna use the other end of the toothbrush here. Like I said, Jackson Pollock would use sticks. You could use a stick. When you've answered the questions using some of the alternative materials that I've suggested, what you're going to do next is to take a step back from it, have a nice long look at it, and then start to fill in areas you think would benefit from more colour, more layers, more lines, using some more traditional materials like oil pastels and colouring pencils.